Hello and welcome to Vegas Aces Q&A. I am your host, Heather Ferris, and in this new series, I will be answering your questions, shadowing newbie dealers on various games, interviewing people who are involved with the casino industry, and anything else related to gaming that I feel like going in depth about. On today's episode, we will be covering checks. Why do I use the term check instead of saying chips? How to properly break down stacks of $1,000 and $5,000 checks and splashing the checks. So, let's get to it. Technovlog asks, Checks? I always thought the name was chips. The term chips and checks are both referring to a small round clay disc. The term chip is used when the clay disc has no monetary value. For example, if you are at a friend's poker night and everyone is just playing for fun, then those discs that you are using would be referred to as chips because you are never going to exchange them for cash. The term check is used when that clay disc does have monetary value. For example, the checks you get at a casino can be turned into the cashier's cage for cash. An easy way that you can remember it is a chip means that it's worthless, while a check means that it has monetary value. Tube Wings writes, First, would a $1,000 mini stack be five checks or $5,000? Second, have you ever handled gaming plaques, the rectangular shaped checks that are usually 5,000, 10,000, 25,000, or 100,000. First, both $1,000 checks and $5,000 checks are broken down into four stacks of five checks each, with the last stack being broken down even further into two stacks of two checks each, plus one on the side. Depending on what casino you work at, they might want you to bridge the last stack instead. Always know your house rules. Second, the gaming plaques that Tube Wings was referring to are often seen in movies such as the James Bond movies. These large, rectangular shaped checks usually represent a higher denomination check and are played with by high rollers or whales. No, I have never handled plaques. I have dealt in high limit a couple times and the highest denomination that I have dealt with were $25,000 checks. Gez Girl writes, I was wondering about proofing a stack. The three places where I worked, we would always splash the last five checks. We did it when opening and closing the table or giving change for cash or checks. Do you think doing that is acceptable or a no-no for an audition? because I don't know this particular casino's procedure and I can't watch because they aren't open yet. Since you don't know what the normal procedure is because the casino hasn't opened yet, when you go to the audition before you go on the live game, ask your floor or shift manager if they would prefer you to bridge the checks or splash them. For the people out there who want to audition in an already established casino, then it's a good idea to go to that casino beforehand and look and see what procedures the dealers uses when handling their cards and checks. That way, when you go to an audition, you will already have a good idea of what is expected of you. Splashing the checks is considered to be a break-in move. It's more professional to either bridge the checks or keep it as a stack as long as it's under 5 units. The way the cameras are positioned, the camera operators can easily spot a stack of five units or less. But when a dealer splashes the checks, then some operators will need to take the time to count out all of the chips, which makes their job more difficult than it needs to be, and that lessens game security. But, as always, every casino is different, so make sure you know your house rule. I know a couple of Indian casinos who require their dealers to splash their checks. That does it for today's show. If you have a question that you want answered, then please submit it in the comment section below. Please follow me on Facebook and Twitter, remember to subscribe, and as always, thanks for watching.